the Toronto Maple Leafs. And I'm sorry if I'm wearing a Blackhawks t-shirt because I cannot wear Maple Leafs after this because I don't have a Maple Leafs jersey or merchandise and because I don't want to. The Toronto Maple Leafs pulled off the 7th thousandth 2013 since 2013. This is just unacceptable. I can't even get into this. And this is the morning after, and I seem pretty mad right now. Imagine how mad I was last night. No, I cannot make a video. I can make a TikTok, but I can make I made that in the bathroom last night. I cannot make a video with the conditions I had. My brother was sleeping over here. I cannot. I was not doing that. No. It was abs It's absolutely unacceptable that this team has the power. Austin Matthews, Mitch Marner, John Tavares, Kasperi Kapanen, Ilya Mikhaev, Freddie Anderson, Tyson Berry. Sorry, Tyson Berry's not on the team anymore. But anyways, you have Marty Marincin and Cody Cece and Morgan Riley. Oh my god, Morgan Riley plays so well and then screws up the game. John Tavares' turnover ends up with the Blue Jackets winning the game. And not to mention the fact that they were up 3-0. This has happened in 2013. This has happened in 2018. In 2019. In 2020 in February. Don't forget the Zamboni driver. Um, there's also been the Line A, the Line A game where he came back and scored in the Line A game winner. Th there's multiple that, that, that I'm not even mentioning that Leafs fans will know that I haven't even talked about. I'm going to say this. I, you know what? I honestly don't even care about Game 4 and Game 5. Because after this, they don't even, der they don't even deserve to move on. Like, let's say they win Game 4 and they win Game 5. They don't deserve to move on. Y you don't deserve to move on after you had a chance to go up 2-1 in the series, being up 3-0. Then the Blue Jackets come back. And win the game in overtime. You don't deserve to move on. That's what I think Toronto is. Toronto, I think they deserve to get eliminated in game four. And if not eliminated in game five, they don't deserve to move on. And even if they do move on, I think they'll be playing Boston anyways. It's unacceptable. Now, here's the other thing we need to mention. They don't deserve to move on. but if they, And if they don't move on and don't get Lafreniere... Which they don't deserve to get anyways, because like they have such a good team right now. Getting Lafreniere would only make hockey fans even more mad. There's gonna be some big changes, and if those big changes don't happen, something needs to change in the staff. I said last night Dubis needs to be gone. This isn't actually even Dubis' fault, because this has been happening since. This has been happening before Dubis, and like saying that Sheldon Keefe, we should get a new coach. That that that's not even it either. I just, it's just not acceptable. I mean, I'm not a Toronto fan. I mean, I guess you could say I am. The, they're my top 10 favorite teams. But, like, it is unacceptable. You, you can't, you can't be doing this every single time. Like, where you have hope for this team and it ends in heartbreak about 30 minutes later. Depending on what time period it is. But you know what I mean. First off, props to the Blue Jackets for doing this. I mean, I just made a TikTok before I got onto this. Props to the Blue Jackets for staying in the game. Props to John Tortorella. Props to Pierre-Luc Dubois. Nick Robertson. Cam Atkinson. Zach Borensky. Elvis Merzlikens. Unas Corpusalo. Props to every single Blue Jacket on that team. For keeping that... For... for for actually doing this. And I'm going to make two videos this morning. Because like. This is an absolute outrage. That and I need to talk about the Philadelphia Flyers. Because they're scaring me. Not not in a bad way. In, the, in a very good way. So. Yeah. It's just. It's just absolutely unacceptable for this team. And I think that. After the. If we don't. If we don't win game four. Which they don't even deserve to win. And we. 
and even if we do win game four, we don't win game five, which I said, which we does we don't deserve to win. If if we lose those games, don't get a friend here. Some big changes are gonna have to happen, and not, not just that, and not like small names like like Marty Marincin, like big names like Morgan Riley and all, and Mitch Marner. There's gonna be there needs to be some big names going going after the season if we don't move if we don't move on and don't get a friend here. That's all I have to say.